Hello everyone and welcome back to today's episode of One Man Stream. As we record this episode today, it coincides with the opening of Major League Baseball, so we're going to change things up. We're switching from basketball into baseball season, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create this graphic right here. I'm going to show you how to uh, create the animation and bringing the field in, then I'm going to show you how to bring the players in on top of the playing field. In episode two, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, use this Excel spreadsheet and it's going to be very much like um, the process that we did with the starting five basketball graphic. But this time it's going to be with baseball. We're going to use VLOOKUP to sort through our roster and pick out the players we want to uh, populate that graphic. Uh, for those folks that aren't real comfortable uh, using an Excel spreadsheet. In episode three, I'm going to show you how to use VMIX UTC and the list widget in order to populate uh, the players in this graphic. So we're going to have this and so much more for you on today's episode of One Man Stream. Here we are in GT Title Designer, and this is the way that it looks when you start out. You have a blank canvas. Um, you can look over here to the right and see that I've already created all these elements, but I have them all. Uh, you can see how these are, these little eyeballs you can see, and these little eyeballs are grayed out. Well, I have all the layers turned off. The very first thing that I did, which is the bottom layer, which is going to be the field, is I came over here and I clicked this little box here that says image. Or it should say image. There we go, that says image. And after I clicked it, I went to right here and I picked out uh, this picture of a baseball field that I have. I actually put it in a program where I was able to clip out everything except what I wanted and it leaves me with this picture right here. So that's going to be what we're starting out with. This is the field itself. So now what we have to do is we have to bring in the different player elements. So uh, what we did for each player we're going to have a a player image, which is just going to be a blank headshot, and then a player name. And how I did that is for this image right here, I brought that in by using uh, the image uh, key right here. And then for the name, I brought that in by using this right here, this text block. And after I did that, you've seen me do this before, uh, what I did is I came over here and I highlighted both of them this one and this one holding the control key and then I went up here and I click create group and that's going to help you out immensely by creating the group uh, because once you create that group then all you have to do is copy and paste so let's say we did that we went ahead and uh, created the group let's get that back where it was and then all you have to do is right click and copy and then right click again and paste and when you do that, it's going to bring up the second layer. And what happens each time you copy and paste, each time you paste it, it's going to add one higher digit uh, to the end of the uh, data pieces that's in that layer. So if you look over here on the right hand side where I'm pointing, uh, layer one is, the, is um, uh, the main layer is the field layer. Layer one is uh, the first player. And it says player image and then it says player name layer two it says player image one and player name one that's because when we copy and paste each time it adds one higher digit uh, to the end of those elements so when we copy and paste again for layer three it changes it to player image two player name two and then we're going to bring in four and one thing that you may have noticed is the numbering that I use is the same numbering that you use in a scorebook. So, and it's going to make it easier for me when I'm bringing the data in later. So layer one is the pitcher, position one. Layer two, position two is the catcher. Layer three, position three is first base. Layer four, position four is second base. Layer five is going to be third base. And then layer six is going to be our shortstop. Layer seven is going to be left field. Layer eight is going to be right field. And then layer nine, oops, layer nine 
is going to be right field. I believe I may have said um, layer eight is right field, but it should be layer seven is left field, layer eight is center field, and layer nine is right field. So let's go ahead and click these off again. And the first thing that we're gonna do when we bring in uh, this layer right here, the field layer, let's slide this back down. The field layer is we want some animation. So what animation did we use? Well, let's go up here to where it says animation, field layer. Actually, that is zoom fade, and I'm zoom fading. Um, well, you, you don't have a position for zoom fade, but it's actually zoom fade. Let's see if it still does that. There we go. There we go. Zoom fade is actually the animation that I'm using for that. Uh, but that is zoom fade. Okay, when you go to each one of the player layers, let's turn this one on and click on it. You'll see that I have reveal. And I have a little bit of delay because I want the field to come in first. And then I want the players to come in after that all at one time. So I'm going to delay the players coming in by a half a second and I'm going to make the duration of that animation one second. So this is what it's going to look like. And then let's go ahead and uncover all these again. And let's go ahead and set the animation in motion. All right, we have the field come in first. And then as the field is almost in, we have the players coming in. So that is the first part of this, uh, of this tutorial series. In our second part, we're gonna show you how to use an Excel spreadsheet with VLOOKUP uh, to bring in the data for these players. And then in part three, we're gonna show you how to use the list widget in VMIX UTC in order to bring this data in for people that uh, don't feel as comfortable using Excel. If you're enjoying this tutorial series, please give me a thumbs up and a like, and remember to subscribe so that you'll be alerted when new videos are posted. Thank you.